In today's video, I'm going to show you how to be healthy on a budget without compromising taste, quality. I buy organic, gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian fare, fresh, organic products. I'm gonna take you on a shopping trip with me today to our local Aldi. Stay tuned for my shopping adventures and how you can save money from an Aldi haul. Go Aldi! Hey folks, welcome. I am Dr. Melissa Gallagher. I'm a mom, I run my household, and I run my wellness practice. And I don't always have time to coupon and be really, really on top of my savings for purchasing our household products. But in this video, I wanna detail a little bit about how Aldi can help you save money and be budget conscious without skimping on healthy products. So that's something that I get questions all the time and even friends and my patients, they ask, how can I eat healthy on a budget? How do I save money without going to whole paycheck foods? and walking out with a bag that's like $200. And if you're laughing, I know you've done it because I have. So as you can see, we are here in the parking lot of our local Aldi. I've got my little man in the car and we're about to go in for our shopping adventure for health and wellness related awesome organic products at some of the best discounted rates and prices I have been able to find. So I'm excited to share this with you. Let's go. In this video, I'm going to detail some of the core products that I've purchased uh, this season. Aldi is really amazing for seasonal goodies and seasonal finds. Every store varies, so maybe what I found you might not be able to find. But I want to detail some really core things that are important for you to know if you have a local Aldi and why you want to shop there. First of all, it's a German-based company. A lot of the products that they sell are manufactured in Europe. And that's really key because the European food standards are stricter. They have more stringent requirements about the food, the food sourcing, and the type of ingredients that go in the food. That is awesome because you're going to get more of that local markety um, kind of international flair, if you will, on ingredients without paying an international marketing price. Aldi keeps costs at a minimum. One of the things that you need to know, you need to have a quarter and you're going to borrow the shopping cart by putting a quarter in and off you go into the store. You will want to bring bags, reusable bags, or one of the tips that I was told by one of the guys in the beginning when I was like, how do I do this? How do I get all this food? without bagging and bags. You bring your own bags and you pull boxes from the shelves. If you are purchasing some items and the box is close to being finished, you can actually pull out items, throw them on the shelf and grab the box. And then that becomes a box that you can use to take transport your product home in your car. So that's a tip that some people might not tell you in the Aldi hauling here. How I work my Aldi is I always have a list and I have a notepad that I use where I list out the things that I need to replenish. In my household, we have a toddler and my partner, Brian, who many of you are going to meet very soon. And Brian has limited food requirements. So he actually cannot eat a lot of things that are on my dietary plan because he has uh, gastrointestinal grief that uh, we're actually going to detail his journey of healing here on YouTube. So you'll meet Brian in, uh, in a future video. I make my list and then I go in. Sometimes you're going to find stuff on your list. Sometimes you're going to find great finds. So you want to be kind of flexible, but you always want to have a budget. In general, I will shop at Aldi and I'm spending between $35 and about $100, $110. That will last my family two to two and a half weeks sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, depending on what I'm purchasing. Aldi owns Trader Joe's. So if you're a Trader Joe's fan, 
you're gonna love Aldi. A lot of the same kind of branded products Aldi carries. I have a little toddler and he loves the freeze-dried fruit packs. Aldi has those, much cheaper. Also, he's a huge fan of granola bars. They've got granola bars cheaper. They have applesauce. They have a lot of really good items that you can consume that will benefit your family that's cheaper than Trader Joe's. And I know I never thought that was possible, but I tell you what, Trader Joe's is a lot more expensive than Aldi. As you see from the video, Aldi has quinoa meal ready to go. So this is great for professionals that grab and go. It's faster. Sometimes time savings is worth the dollar value. Simply in Nature is their brand of wholesome, natural-based products. They will label organic when it is organic. They will label it grass-fed. We actually get our grass-fed ground meat from Aldi. And we're not big meat eaters. We're mostly plant-based in my family. But if I want to enhance um, and do tacos or I want to make meatballs for some of my pesto oriented um, Italian dishes, I will use that ground meat and it's really wonderful. I flavor up my meat with their Italian seasoning and you get so much more quality meat for a better value. My apple cider vinegar comes from Aldi. This, we go through tons of apple cider vinegar in my family. If you watch a lot of videos and check this one video out where I detail a little bit more about apple cider and hyper skin pigmentation, it's one of the lowest prices of organic apple cider vinegar that I have been able to find hands down. Same with their coconut oil. I like their coconut oil. I like their avocado oil. So you can save money on some core basic items for your pantry that's healthy, that's plant-based. All these are really good resource. It's sometimes it's a mindset. So I'll tell you this. When I first stepped into the Aldi category of shopping, it's with our move to Atlanta. There was only one Aldi in the area where I grew up. And down there, I thought it was like a food lion and nothing against food lion, but I thought it was going to not have the greatest products, like tons of ramen, lots of packaged products. And it does have that, but some of the packaged products are more whole grain, more whole plant-based products that I use as core staples that I implement with my farmer's market greens, my own vegetable garden greens, and also greens and special buys that I'll find at Aldi. There are certain fruits and vegetables that you don't need to buy organic. All these great for those fruits and vegetables. I love to get my squashes, pumpkin when it was in season. I love to get pineapple and even mango. There's a list, I'll link the list below, of the foods that are least receptive or sensitive to pesticides 
herbicides and insecticides. Those are foods that you can choose not to buy organic and save a lot at Aldi. Bananas. A prime example, bananas are super, super cheap. They're cheap at Trader Joe's, they're cheaper at Aldi, and bananas are all the same. Some of my favorite things at Aldi are their seasonal items. A lot of times my shopping ticket price comes from not my food items, but like household goods. So do plan on checking out and perusing some of the items. They've got great utensils for cooking. They have great socks for kids. We're losing socks all the time. And I swear I end up picking up really cute Paw Patrol socks and socks for um, Brian and I. And they also, on occasion, you can find their dye-free natural dish soap and laundry detergent. When that's there, I see it, I'm stocking up. I buy six, 10, sometimes I'll put the whole box of the detergent in my cart and there I've got a box to hold it, but I'm going to stock up. So I will use Aldi Trips to stockpile a lot of really good items. Their dish detergent soap in comparison to some of the brands like Method that you might get at Target, hands down, cheaper and just as good quality. Let's talk about raising kids on a budget. Aldi is excellent for diapers. The savings on diapers is often better than I could double stack coupons and get money back from Target, which a lot of us moms are doing that. All these diapers are fantastic. We have never had any leak issues with our little man and I buy boxes upon boxes. Similarly, their wipes in the three packs per package, per wipe, it breaks down to being the best price on the market. You want to watch the toddler um, squeezable snacks. A lot of those items have not so great healthy um, ingredients in them. So you don't always want to buy your toddler based snacks there, but for sure all the hands down is the best place for moms to buy diapers and baby wipes, which a lot of adults use for cleansing their face. More recently, as you'll see in this video trip to Aldi, it was the beginning of the year and fitness was Aldi's focus. They had exercise mats, kettlebells, weights, and they were all at discounted prices. Cheaper than you could even find at TJ Maxx, which a lot of us shop there for some of our fitness products. So I'm always on the lookout for seasonal oriented items at Aldi that is enhancing our lifestyle to be healthy and well. Aldi finds are little tags that you want to look out for. So those are going to be items that are not normal items that they're routinely stocking that you want to scarf up. So if you have noticed in this video, in my recent trip, an Aldi find was this really great rooted hash brown. I purchased a lot of those because I wanted to store them in my freezer. A lot of items that you're gonna get at Aldi that are in the freezer section or even that you can prepare ahead of time, you can freeze and that adds to the length of time that the products are going to give you savings. Aldi has seasonal items in their freezer section, depending on the growing season. We found recently organic peas for less than even what I could get at Costco for a five pound bag. So I stock up and my little man loves peas. We add peas to a lot of our um, plant-based pasta dishes. We puree them. 
you can't go wrong with stocking up on fruits and vegetables. Another thing that I love at Aldi is they have Kerrygold butter. At Publix, it's a dollar more. At Aldi, it's a dollar less. I like to use butter. I'm a big fan. Butter is better than margarine and Kerrygold is great because it's from grass fed cows. So it's a great butter source. Similarly, if you watch this video about ghee, a healthy fat, I get my ghee from Aldi. It's so much cheaper than the ghee clarified butter at Trader Joe's and hands down at Whole Paycheck Foods. When you're really trying to be cost conscious and healthy on a budget, it's possible. It just might take a few trips. So a lot of my patients that I work with in creating nutrition plans and meal planning, just know one location, one store does not have everything you need, especially when it comes to your budget. So breaking up your shopping adventures is going to be key by store and then by items. You'll find some stores carry certain products that you like and prefer to use at better prices. And so you want to stock up as you go. So you maximize your adventure, you maximize your time when you're shopping and use pantries and freezers for excess storage. For more health and wellness tips and my shopping haul, stay tuned. I hope you'll subscribe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Join our tribe. You can find us in our Facebook page where we post daily health tips and wellness resources. Our Facebook page is your natural health resources and check me out on Instagram. I'm posting stories every day and I hope you'll join me there. Natural health resources. Thanks for tuning in. Stay healthy and well, and I'll see you next time.